the Defense Innovation Unit transitioned 17 commercial platforms to Department of Defense and Civilian Agency users in fiscal year 2022, up from eight transitions the previous year. Despite a relative slowdown in the last three to six months, the GovCon industry has seen a steady increase in consolidation and competition in recent years. Valiant Integrated Services CEO Dan Corbett expects the trend to continue. Watch Dan's full video interview at executivemosaic.com. AT&T has widened its collection of technology offerings with the addition of network-connected robotic dogs built for use in public safety and defense initiatives. The National Security Agency, CISA and the Multi-State Information Sharing and Analysis Center have released a joint advisory urging network defenders to safeguard systems against the malicious use of remote monitoring and management software by cyber threat actors. The National Science Foundation has extended its partnership with the Department of Energy's Office of Science to increase collaboration on science, technology and engineering research. NASA Advisory Council Chairman Lester Lyles has joined MITRE as a visiting fellow, joining eight other experts from the defense, science and technology sectors. Sen Josh Hawley has introduced a bill that would prohibit Americans from downloading social media app TikTok on their devices and ban U.S. companies from transacting with its parent company ByteDance. The General Services Administration has inaugurated its Workplace Innovation Lab, a hub for government agencies to test innovations that can benefit their on-site operations. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2023 Fourth Annual Artificial Intelligence Summit on February 16, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The university's Space Research Association and the MSI STEM Research and Development Consortium will research the potential applications of emerging technologies in homeland security. The White House Office of Science and Technology Policy has begun to solicit feedback from the public to help identify research and development priorities related to digital assets and underlying technologies such as blockchain, decentralized finance, smart contracts and distributed ledgers.